All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sah, Bahasim, Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sid Salawam, to the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this quick video that we see, you know, hopeful elect, okay, out of humility, okay, which we don't know, you know, for sure whether or not we are of the elect, okay, um, that's, that will be determined who is of the elect when Yahweh Sah returns, okay, and the elect will be delivered out of here, okay, whether, well, it's going to be through the, through the chariots, okay, because the scriptures say that, you know, the dead shall rise first, okay, and then we that remain so be called up together you know to meet the lord in the uh air okay and there we so remain with yahweh Shah. okay and you know having faith in that is you know the start okay you know uh some of us um including myself have been given visions okay have you know received a lot of things through the spirit okay um you know, messages, okay, that, you know, will make you think that for sure you are on the path of being of the elect, okay, but at the end of the day, we're not saved, we're not delivered, okay, right now we still have a fight to fight, okay, the fight in the, the, the good fight, okay, the good fight of faith. Okay, so we don't know whether or not we have the elect and it's to be determined. We don't want to just put ourselves a part of that number, okay, of the 144,000 or of the elect, okay, knowing that, you know, we are chosen. Yes, we do have faith, you know, that we are of the, you know, we want to be a part of that. If not us, then who, okay, who's doing the work of the elect, okay, when we go into the scriptures of proving that, okay. Because a lot of people, you know, they don't have, they don't have it. They don't have that it factor. Okay. So when we go into the book of uh, Romans 11 and uh, 7, it says, um, Romans 11 and 7, it says, what then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. Okay. But the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. Okay, a lot of people, okay, are looking for the wrong things. They're not even looking for the truth. Okay, um, looking for Yahweh Basim Yahshua. Okay, looking for the Lord to return. Okay, hoping, hoping to be a part of that number. Okay, a lot of people, even though people who know that they Israelites are in that sleeping uh, phase right now. Okay, meanwhile. You know, everything that we do, our minds is so far set on this place going down, okay, uh, in, in the kingdom that's about to come, okay, and, and you know, enjoying the, you know, life as it's supposed to be, okay, so when we say that we are, you know, we got to be those people, we say it out of humility, man, because, you know, we're not, we're not important to the Lord. The Lord said that he can raise up stones, okay? And, you know, we want to be looked at as lively stones, okay? Um, let me get that. Okay, this is our first Peter 2 and uh, 5. It says, you also... Is lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. Okay, so you know we we want to be like lively stones. Okay, because hey, the Lord said that He can raise up stones if He wanted to. Okay, He don't He don't need us to be preaching His word. Okay, the fact that you know if we are of the elect, that's a gift. Okay, and the things that are going to be given onto the elect or you know presses okay and it's you know the scriptures say you know 
it's what we what we supposed to have. Okay, we supposed to be living long. Okay, we supposed to have you know good fruit, good food. Okay, peace of mind. We supposed to have those things. Okay. Now, if you have that mindset that, you know, like it's like it can be taken for granted, then you're going to look at the, you know, your your mind ain't going to be on the kingdom. OK, because, hey, we we we're being oppressed. OK, right now. And if you if you not looking towards that, the kingdom and you thinking that this place is it. Then guess what? That's where your treasure is. OK. Our treasure is in the world that is to come, okay, which a lot of people cannot receive it, okay? A lot of people don't understand that a lot of people are going to have to die, okay? So, you know, that's what we do, okay, is, you know, the hopeful elect, okay, to, to you know, offer and everything is, a you know, spiritual sacrifice, man, for y'all by some y'all side. And guess what? That also includes so-called egos, okay, or feeling that you're important in this thing, man, you got to sacrifice all of that, man, because this, the Lord don't need you, you know, and whatever you think that you have in this world, or, you know, even in its truth, it can all get taken away, man, simple, fast, real fast, okay, Real fast, everything can get taken away, man, and be given on to, over to another person, man. And you don't know how they're going to do it. You know, they talking trash about you or, you know, disrespecting it. Hey, if you, if you don't live the life of, of a man of the Lord on this side, then guess what? You will get talked trash. You will, re, you will inherit a bad name, okay? So, you know, in our mindset, as far as, what, fearing the Lord, because guess what? The scriptures say... In Proverbs 15 and thir uh, 33, okay, start at, uh, start at 31. It says, the ear that hears the reproof of life abides among the wise, okay? So, the things that we say through the Spirit, okay, is to try to get Jake to understand, okay, what it means to actually, you know, be on that path of living forever, okay? And if you want to, want to hear about that, you know, living forever, not dying, okay, and being in your right spirit, okay, then you're going to be dwelling among other brothers that have that same mindset, okay? Because they, they're, that's where their, their, their heart is going to be at, man, not here. Okay, so brothers is going to be correct in certain behaviors. Okay, so you're going to be dwelling among the wise, okay, of the elect. It says, he that refuses instruction despises his own soul. Okay, but he that hears reproof gets understanding. Okay, you have to be able to take that correction, man. Okay, and a part of the correction is, hey, we don't know whether we have the elect or not. You know, as much as we walk around and we say you with all, you know, sincerity and confidence that we, you know, that we, you know, are those those men. OK, we it is to be determined. OK, who who who's the son? Who are the sons of God? OK, who is the Lord going to protect? Who is the Lord dealing with? The scriptures say, then shall be known who are my chosen. OK, and we hope that and pray that the Lord shows us, you know, that we're, we're those people, you know, like I said, there have been certain situations where, you know, some of us individually have been, you know, given signs and stuff like that to let us know that the Lord is dealing with, and we have to walk around as Israelites and, you know, have this mindset that we are Israel, that we're not being trodden down. We're the sons of Yahweh on our side. And as long as we got the Lord on our side, ain't nobody stopping us, man. Okay, but we also can't get proud, man, as if it's of our own doing. Okay, this this calling, okay, is without repentance, man. Okay, this is not something that the Lord has just given to us, you know, and, and, and just going to take away. Okay, because the scriptures say that the Lord don't have pleasure in the death, okay, of someone. Okay, but that, you know, individual 
comes in and they worship him. Okay, but people that, that get destroyed, they call it upon themselves. Okay, it says the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. Okay, so when you get instructed, right, which a lot of people hate instruction, they don't want to listen, okay, because of someone. Okay, because guess what? They don't really fear the Lord. As many times as the scriptures say something about what you're supposed to do and then you don't listen, guess what? That means that you lack as far as the fearing of the Lord. Okay, but the fearing of the Lord, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. So you got to be able to hear, okay, these wise words that's going to save your soul. Okay, it says, and before honor, before you get that honor of being someone of the elect, right, is humility. Okay, and when we go into the word humility, okay, a modest or low view of one's own importance. Okay, we're not important. Okay, the Lord can take us out. We have to be humble. Okay, we have to be meek. Okay, unassertive. Okay, what do assertive mean? Having or showing a confident or forceful personality, right? Unassertive is of a person not having or showing a confident or forceful personality, okay? So, humility is not being, you know, putting yourself out there, man. Okay, a lack of pride, unassertive, Okay? So, you know, that's that's the point, man. You know, we don't say it out of pride. We don't correct people out of pride. This thing is at the end of the day, it's about faith. You know, and people who don't want to hear it, you know, don't want to hear these wise words, you know, of you know, loving your how about some outside and resting in your how about some outside. Okay, they're gonna have to suffer the consequences. They really hate their own soul. Okay, this is this is the teaching of you know, loving yourself, okay, loving your neighbor. Okay, and ultimately loving you. How about some else? Huh? Okay, so with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say a solemn warm till next time.